Well, this year marks the Stanford School of Engineering's 100th anniversary, and our Mary Lee was on campus as they celebrated a century of innovation and showcased the engineering of tomorrow. Physical models that we can make can go down to 60 micron inner diameter. Soham Sinha is a bioengineering PhD student here at Stanford. He's working on something so science fiction you would think it was out of a movie to 3D print a fully functioning human heart. When you're doing something first of its kind, it's always like, oh my God, we're breaking new frontiers. We're we're at the edge of science, where it's no longer we're pulling ideas from science fiction. You know stuff that we only seen about in the movies and suddenly like I'm right here like hey we are making the science fiction a reality. This research is in bioengineering associate professor Mark Schuyler Scott's lab at Stanford. Under his leadership his researchers are working to 3D bioprint a human heart with a fully functioning blood network to keep that heart alive. He shared his inspiration for this revolutionary work. Pretty early on I found a way to make blood vessels in tissue and it was when I was able to keep thick slabs of tissue not like a, a thin film of cells at the bottom of a dish but a good chunky slab of human cells when you can put blood vessels into that you can keep it fed and alive that's when I realized wow like this this is something that has been missing in tissue engineering for decades this is something that can allow us to think big and you know, focus on really hot problems. And they're paving the future. Jennifer Widom, Dean of the School of Engineering, says she's lucky to oversee the program during this important milestone. It's incredible. I've been learning a lot about the history of Stanford Engineering and decade by decade, there's just so much science, discovery, innovation, inventions that have been going on for 100 years. and at least 100 more coming. The future is bright for Stanford and students like Sohan. I'm a very passionate individual and I really like working on projects that really speak to me. So this is really, all of the 3D printing that we're doing is it's really a passion project. Like, I feel like I'm not just doing the PhD just because of PhD, it's because I really want to do this. It's this passion that Soham and many engineers here share. A passion to make breakthroughs unlike anything we've seen before. To improve our lives in ways we never thought possible through engineering of the future. Well, the founders of Hewlett Packard met at Stanford Engineering students and the university's engineering graduate students created companies like Yahoo, Google, and NVIDIA.